Welcome to Army Woodworks. I am really excited to talk to you about a major problem in my shop that I might have found a solution for. It's the dust collector attachment on my miter saw. I just bought a dust collector attachment from our friend Travis at Shop Nation. Link to his channel before. Amazing channel. Make sure to check him out. And if this works, this is going to be a game changer. I do feel a miter saw is an essential tool in any shop to cut boards to manageable lengths, cutting angles, and even compounded miter cuts. But the one thing that sucks, or maybe doesn't suck, is the dust collection attachment. Almost every miter saw I've tried has more or less the same problem. I've seen all kinds of implementations and aftermarket solutions that people have implemented, but this is by far the easiest and the most minimalistic. That's enough talking. Let's get into that intro. Let's get back to it. So in the box, you get, oh, forgive me. Dust collector attachment. A couple attachments and screws. Shop Nation branding, very nice. Oh, got a sticker too. Instructions video, nice branding. And I opted to get both the two inch. Oh, very nice, 1.75 and the where is it 2.5 two and a half inch hose collector and i also ordered an extra once you know i tear it apart okay all right let's put this away and let's get right to it all righty this installation only took about 15 minutes and i started by installing the dust collector flap to the body with the provided screws then, before touching anything, I unplugged the saw and started by removing the four screws that we will reuse to install the dust collector chute. Now I knew that I should remove the guard, but I also remembered that my Phillips screw on top was stripped, so I tried to do without messing with that. Spoiler alert, it didn't work and I had to ultimately remove that guard to get to the screw. Thankfully, it wasn't too hard with a pair of adjustable pliers. Now, I have to say, the hardest part was to get the wire guard out, which was a little finicky. But once I had that, it was smooth sailing from there. Maybe if I shake it, it'll come off. Come on. Finally. All right, let's move on. Once I had the rear metal plate guard and the wire guard removed, I took off the original dust collector chute. By the way, it was broken anyway. And finally installed a chute adapter using the four screws I just took off from the blade guard. Once I reinstalled the guard, I attached the rest of the body with the thumb screws provided and I was ready to test this baby. Now I'm about to show you two test cuts. Look at the back of the saw and you will see the difference in the dust. The first is without dust collection turned on and the second is with the dust collection turned on. Look at that saw dust collecting in the back. This has been my life for a long time now. And now without further ado, look at the difference now. That was amazing. Not only is this thing color matched, but it has a lower profile 
and the suction is amazing. Now I'm not going to lie, there's not zero dust there, but it's a lot better than the way it was before. While I was making that cut, I realized that Burtick birch plywood might be more expensive than that dust collector attachment. Anyhow, Travis's channel's uh, uh, link is in the description. Please make sure to check him out. We'll see you in the next one.